Wow. You know, one of those things that come across the drop desk sometimes, man. Love to the family on IG, VA123. Shout out to you, you know, and I just got to share with y'all, man. Just, you know, just to share your thoughts, you know what I mean? Tell me what you feel about this. Because this goes right in line with the uh, organ harvesting, um, a lot of the uh, undercover talk, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that, you know, uh, you know, no one really knows, you know, much about or too afraid to talk about or whatever the case is. But, yeah, in our gut bone, we know there's some sick shit going on, man. There's some sick shit going on. And uh, this article right here, uh, shout out to uh, TrueDreads.com. Go, go dig on it. Um, yeah, let's go to the title, man. Let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> Scientists are making batteries out of melanin. The voltage we got out was high. So, yeah, you know, they're going to give you uh, a quick rundown on it that you can look further into. But, man, man, shout out to Natural by Law, man. You know, we were talking about that Matrix and the shout out to the sister uh, Sophia. You know, I mean, the sister that wrote the drop, man, Sophia Stewart. Wow. Using people as batteries. Now, they're already doing this, you know, when you just talk your energy or your money or your currency, you know, it's just whatever your energy is. Yeah, that's the battery. But literally, man, literally, man, super conductive substance that glazes the universe, man. We're talking about the uh, black holes, the dark matter, right? This substance that must bind things, but we cannot really get a reading on it. That which flows through you. You can call it melanin. You can call it carbon. You know, man, all these are titles, man. I, what you need to know is that you are superpower. Superpower, my Naga. And when the scripture talk about, you know what I'm saying, the Nagas lighting up, <laughs> running to and fro, you know, becoming like stars, you know what I mean? Charged up, man. Imagine a group of scientists figuring out how to make a battery out of your melanin. Essentially, what makes you black? <laughs> copper color nagas. Remember, copper is a conductor. Hmm. Copper color cons. Your melanin is high voltage. Copper color con. Your melanin is high voltage. Now, how are you gonna use your, how are you gonna use your your energy? Cause somebody gonna use it. If you don't put your energy in the right place, you know somebody gonna use your energy. Somebody gonna pimp pimp your energy, pimp your voltage. Don't let them pimp your voltage. Don't let them make a battery out of you. So this group of scientists figuring out how to make a battery out of your melanin essentially what makes you black. What does this mean for you? Oh, shit. I guess it's on because that's a big industry. There's already a bunch of Nagas missing all all damn day. Sisters missing all, all over the place. We keep hearing about it. it. Keeps breaking our hearts. And then you hear about the organ situation and all that. You know what I mean? Of course, you're like, yeah, yeah. But have you connected the organ with the melanin? The organ with the melanin? Now you got some origami. <laughs> yeah, man. Now you got high voltage. It's not just the organ itself. It's the voltage. What are they trying to charge up? What are they using your voltage for? These groups of scientists that are figuring out how to make a battery out of your melanin. Essentially what makes you a copper color, not a conductor. Let's read it. According to an article published by phys, P -H -Y -S .org, in 2016, a team of researchers from Carnegie Mellon University has discovered that the chemical substance of melanin on the micromolecular scale or macro macromolecular scale. That's that's big talk, baby. That's big time science talk. 
macro molecular scale. Exhibits, among other shapes, a four-membered ring. In other words, a chemical structure that may be conductive to creating certain kinds of batteries based on natural melanin pigments. So we're specifically yeah, talking about your melanin on your arm, on your hands, in your hands, on your organs, in your organs. This is a big, big issue. Or probably just shines a light on an issue that's already been way popping off. And you, it just gives us the clarity as to why. Why we must be safe, you know what I'm saying? With our, you know, loved ones and, 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 and you know, keep our sisters close. You know what I mean? We got to look, man, we've been talking about tribing up. We've been talking about tribing up the whole time. We've been talking about tribing up the whole time. So the whole purpose of tribing up, man, is survival, my naga. This ain't no play play. My naga, scientists are making batteries out of you. High voltage, my naga. High voltage, my naga. This ain't no play play. So we like to cut through all the bullshit, right? We, we like to slice and dice the hijack, cut the static, go direct to our creator, you know, stand firm, fixed, and immovable. We like to eat the rub, be nine above the barrier at all time. You know, simple things, you know what I mean? We like to know that we are the indigenous Amaru Khan, copper color naga found here. And this is what the war is, man. It's frequency. It's a frequency war. High voltage. So whatever our differences, you know what I mean? It ain't about liking each other or, or us all being sane. We all out of our damn minds. Damn it. We're the products of the invasion. It's not about that. It's not about being likable, man. You know what I'm saying? It's about high voltage survival. That's what tribing up is about. Connecting to your creator, high voltage, or else they're going to make a battery out, <laughs> out of your volts, man. They're going to pimp your volts, man. Let's go. So you got a four member ring. In other words, a chemical structure that may be conductive to creating a certain kind of battery based on natural melanin pigments. In other words, they figure out that our melanin is in fact a quote, superconductive substance of the universe and that <clears throat> you got to shout out to you know dr blair uh dr phil valentine you know what i mean you know our our uh you know family that's been you know what i'm saying you know putting it out there man for for generations and generations we're not coming out to try to undo this and this and that but you know what i mean to be clear like they had to be clear you know what i mean we have to be clear and our elders, you know what I'm saying, must, I mean, our wise elders must know that we were coming. This is creation. You know what I'm saying? No elder believes that they're the end of creation. So much more must be connected, you know, in order for much more to be created. You know what I mean? It's all connectivity. It's all superconductivity. So we're connecting in order to create. But while we create, guess what? Things become clearer as we continue to create. We're right here sitting here, man. We're in Drop Nation, four, three, two, to drop. We, we're, 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 we're banging our tracks. We're, we're creating music. We're doing things creatively. We're doing things, you know what I'm saying? That, that there was no blueprint for, you know what I mean? For what we're doing, there was zero blueprint on how to tribe up, on how to buy land together, on how to, you know what I'm saying? Dig through these books and just vibe up to a frequency that we can slice and dice all of the lesser light magic beneath the barrier. And we've been doing it since 2016, live in full effect right here on YouTube. Go dig on the drop. So you must have known we were coming. And all I'm saying is tribing up has to have a different, I mean, you know, 
RP to Pop Smoke, man. RP to Nipsey Hussle. RP to Kobe. RP to all your real ones you lost that aren't in the newspapers and aren't being talked about. We must tribe up. This is for it all, man. This is not about blood and crip, man. This is not about GDBD, man. This is not about Norteno Sereno. You know what I'm saying? This is about motherfucking, motherfucking voltage, my naga. What color is that? It's high frequency, man. All I know is that they're taking this copper color naga and they're charging up. And it's getting us charged up. You know what I mean? As their, you know, plan really becomes, you know, clear because it has to be. I mean, eventually we do get our minds back, right? We, we eventually we do come back into clarity and it's hard for the enemy or, or anyone who wants to turn us into a battery. Uh, excuse if we just use the short term adversary, you know, adversary. If you want to turn us into batteries, is it fair to call you an adversary? Because you know you're talking to the original ones. The superconductive substances of this universe of all existence. When you compare regular batteries with their experimental melanin batteries, the results were dramatically different. The melanin batteries had a much higher <laughs> Voltage. Just sit on that. Listen to the birds chirp, my knock. Much higher voltage than any regular battery. They're not just doing this so that they can still have batteries like they do today. They're doing this so that they can turn you into a battery. And who's behind this shit? <laughs> oh, man. Well, I don't think it's Hans and Sophia's fault. They're going to want to blame AI. And they're going to say, well, AI wants to turn the human human, the human the uh, race into, into batteries. Artificial intelligence wants to turn the human race into batteries. Uh, nah. They are the artificial intelligence. They're like the, you know, previous generation, right? Now, now you got another generation of artificial intelligence coming on, but that's not AI. AI is already walking among you. AI has already been, you know, living the American dream. AI is in Beverly Hills, man. And it's all good. AI is in, in Hollywood, man. It's all AI. But they want to go bigger. Remember when uh, the Moors in Ethiopia were eating our dragons? Turning a battery out of your melanin. Eating your dragons. Turning a battery out of your melanin. What's melanin? Superconductive substance, dragon. Superconductive substance. You remember that? Ain't nothing changed, man. We're talking about a higher voltage. Let's go higher. The melanin batteries had a much higher voltage. The voltage we got out was high, comparable to what you would get for the best sodium-based cathode materials. Man, we would use in a battery. The best, my nigga. The best. You're the best... Turning the nigga in the hood into a battery is better than any shit we got on the market. The, the best sodium-based cathode materials we would use in a battery, says Viswanathan. <clears throat> Let's get it, man. This is sickening, man. This is sick, dog. Dog. Hey, we got to get back on this dog-headed situation, man. Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering. The issue seems to be not if they can make batteries out of melanin. That's a slam dunk. We got that, boss. But if they can stabilize them, apparently melanin can maintain 
wide variety of molecular structures. Ah. So did Hawa give them sort of a, um, did Hawa give you, you know, one of those, you know, uh, you know, corner pocket, you know what I'm saying? Like, is this something that it's like a fail safe? Did Hawa program us with a, with a fail safe to make sure we can always, always, you know, uh, you know, hit that, uh, four ball into the corner pocket, man, for the ball game. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Nah, man, you got to sink the eight. Because that's what they've been doing. And uh, it appears. Now, I don't know how far they got with this, but it appears that they can't stabilize melanin. Is it, Are we just talking dragon form? Again, because you got dragons forming into anything. And a melanin is, they can't stabilize it. Why? Apparently, melanin can maintain wide variety of molecular structures. I mean, we're all learning something new about this melanin here. If you didn't know, does it also mean that when you charge up, because you're so super conductive, when you charge up, when we charge up, we can maintain a wide variety of, of structures or shapes or sizes or, you know, you know what I mean? This is magic, right? It's magical, but it's not no play play because they're turning you into a battery. High voltage, my naga. High voltage. The melanin batteries had a much higher voltage. It's a superconductor, right? But if they can stabilize them, apparently melanin can maintain a wide variety of molecular structures. So they are trying to find which of these arrangements is the most stable. <laughs> All right, well, let's go. Let's go. What does this mean for you? <laughs> well, let's see. My knock. Let's see. So let's say they find the most stable molecular structure to use melanin as a battery. Would an industry be born out of this? They are already making melanin cyborg implants. Damn, we got to look that up. What other uses will they find for melanin? With the demand increasing for melanin, they will need a steady supply of melanin to continue experiments and scientific developments. Where will they get this from? Before that, it appears that appears to be organizations conducting these experiments are primarily funded by wealthy white people that stand a good chance of being racist, white supremacists. Hey, man, we tend to flip the script around here <laughs> because uh, we know we got rolled up on by people that look just like us. You know what I'm saying? But let's go, man. Is it too far fetched to suggest melanin harvesting? We talked about the organ harvesting from society's undesirables. Poor melanated people will begin if if isn't started already, all right, if it isn't started already, don't forget the kind of people we're dealing with, the same kind of scientist Harriet A. Washington talked about in her book, Medical Apartheid, The Dark History of Medical Experimentation on Black Americans from Colonial Times to the Present. Keep your eyes open and stay alert, people, man. You know, I don't know if they have another link to this uh, melanin cyborg implant drop. Uh-oh. Come on, man. You know, I'll do it like <laughs> I'll do it like this and see if we can uh you know get a bone over here. I'm gonna put in melanin cyborg implants, man. You know, I'll do this for the dismount. Wow. Shit may not be no play play. Shit may not be no play play. And love again to the family on IG, VA123, V underscore A underscore 123. And, uh, you know, hit me up, man, you know what I mean? On IG, hit my DM, man, or, uh, you know, shoot shoot me a link, music at 432thedrop.com. I enjoy digging on y'all links, you know what I mean, as much as I can, when I can get to it, and I appreciate y'all patience for real. New study, melanin conducts enough electricity to enable 
implantable electronics. Wow. We just talked about the superconductor, a higher voltage than a regular battery. Melanin conducts enough super or yeah, super electricity to enable implantable electronics. And U melanin, EU melanin is a mildly mildly conductive type of melanin that produces dark pigmentation in hair, eyes, and skin. Researchers have found a way to boost its conductivity without adding foreign material so they can charge up the melanin, the U melanin right on your hair, eyes, and skin. Now, if they don't have it, oh, we got a little melanin on our, you know, eyes, you know, <laughs> but they're going to go to the, to the Naga, right? Charge it up, but then, you know, use it for, use it for their own battery, right? Use it for their own uh, war, really. It's what they're doing, charging themselves up. Uh, U melanin may be usable as a coating for implantable devices the body won't reject. See all these uses for your skin, my Naga? Organs, my knock. We are electrical creatures. Well, some are more electrical than others. Defibrillators, jump starters, for one thing, and electricity plays a part in how we work down to the cellular level. U melanin, a dark pigment from which we get our eye, hair, and skin color, has been understood for nearly 50 years to conduct electricity for almost as long. Scientists have been looking for ways to take advantage of this trait, but U melanin's conductivity has been too weak to serve as practical purposes beyond its biological role. Now, however, multidisciplinary teams of scientists from Italy, fi their findings were published in the frontiers of chemistry. All right, all right. On March 26th, they figured out how to boost conductivity to the point that they may become usable as a coding for medical implants. So now they can supercharge it. There's no problem. We can supercharge it that the human bodies won't reject. This is the first step in the zone of a long process that now can start. All right. All right. I mean, <laughs> you already see how this will connect with the, uh, you know, cyborg drive. Turning up the heat on your melanin, they decided to try and achieve this, says co-author and electrical engineer Paolo Tassini through basically heating in a vacuum to tighten up your melanin by getting rid of its water and vapor molecules while water is often an aid to conductivity. In the case of your melanin, it was suspected it might be holding it back. So they had to drain the water. They got to get rid of the water. They had to get rid of the water. The process they employed isn't new. It's called annealing, A-N-N-E-A-L-I-N-G, and has been used before to boost conductivity in other materials. So we heated the uromelanin films no thicker than a bacterium under vacuum conditions from 30 minutes up to six hours. We call the resulting material high vacuum annealed eumelanin or HVAE, the HV. AE films were now dark brown and about as thick as a virus. The conductivity of films increased billion fold to an unprecedented value over 30 s over something per centimeters after annealing at 600 degrees Celsius for two hours. This is still far less than conductivity in metals, but it's now within a useful range. Oh, what's next for you, melanin? Shit, you next, my naga. <laughs> what's next for you, melanin, man? I guess I guess we up next, man. But, you know, we know that when we charge it to the game, when we charge it to the game, you know, we charge it back to the code. And that's really how you win the game. You know, you keep the code, you supercharge. You know what I'm saying? You supercharge, you the head, not the tail. That's what the creator been telling us. You know, we supercharge, we're choosing up, we're making good decisions, we're in a good flow, we're in a great vibration above the barrier, we spiral up. Even down here, we can spiral up, we can always reach the throne of the creator, even metaphysically, you know, your, your throne within, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's uh, the only escape is to go within, because you are the universe.
You are the superconductivity and there ain't no separation. So just know that uh, this super conductive substance of the universe, my naga, is you. And yeah, they trying to get us, uh, <laughs> they trying to get us twisted. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. And uh, we'll keep dropping more drop on this. You know what I mean? I mean we definitely got some of that beautiful uh, PJ, Preston John fitted too, popping off. We got some Sephora Hamid's woe drop coming up, man. But, you know, I just been really uh, taking time just to feel, man, just to, Feel the vibration, man, and and just, you know, enjoy the family and all that. So I appreciate y'all love and patience with me, with us, and Ahab to the entire Ether Squad, all the dragons on the wall that keep the water flowing at 432. And uh, everybody, man, that just keeps a good vibration, man. You know what I mean? And it ain't about loving um, in no traditional way of, of what you think love is. You know, it's about keeping the code. <laughs> You keep the code, you know what I mean? You keep the code, you love me. You know what I mean? That's all I need from you is for you to keep the code. To expect anything more of me or of us or of some such and such, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody here for nothing else but to keep the code, man. That's how we show love. That's how you love the creator is by keeping the code. You know what I mean? So when I say I love y'all, I'm saying we keep the code, man. Because with the code, with the code, with the code, Shit, yeah, man, with the cold comes the highest, the highest volume, voltage. The melanin batteries at a much higher voltage. Super conduct conductivity. The natural melanin pigments. This is just part of your defense, man. This is just part of your offense. And remember, man, you know, it, it was so unstable to them. So they're trying to find, find out which of these molecular structures are stable. Apparently, melanin can maintain a wide variety of molecular structures, man. So don't limit yourself, my naga. <laughs> don't limit yourself, man. You are the voltage. Charge up. Choose up, man. Tune up, man. We all tuning up out here, man. We all tuning up. AI.